What's up, baby? It's your boy Wings with the Mac mode on. We got my first pictures of Ashley in her treatment. And we're going to go ahead and jump right in here. Um, we'll try to get more pictures later on for anybody that still wants to follow Ashley's progress. I'm going to keep you up to date. But we got some World of War gameplay here. I know how. I like to play World at War. Hopefully you guys like to play World of War too, Because it is a really, really fun Call of Duty. <clears throat> I'm using my favorite gun in World of War. I'm, a, a gun that I always thought that was going to stay in Call of Duty as a, a solid. Because Call of Duty 4 had it. All the Call of Duty before that had it. World of War had it. And then Modern Warfare 2 fucked up the, fucked up the gameplay and didn't put it in. But... There's no reuse to cry over spilt milk. This is a jack of all trade guns. This is a Storm Gewehr. 1944. You might also notice that I'm playing on the Xbox. The reason I'm playing on the Xbox is because there is an effective way to stay out of hackers' lure. The way you stay out of the hackers' lure is basically try to play a game mode where there's a lot of people. You gotta stay out of things like free, free you got pretty much the only game mode you can play is TDM. And even then you're gonna you're going to try I'll take a few attempts to get a room without a hacker in it. Generally, if you oh, hold up. There we go, I'm actually trying to talk through the morning allergies and trying not to make it sound like I have them. But uh yeah that's that that's the reason there. Hey yeah, just play TDM. Generally, generally hackers they don't want to waste their time with TDM because one, there's no fun in it, there's no objective, there's no nothing they can spoil. Like for example, the first game I got back on World at War, um, Xbox 360, when I started playing the Xbox version again about three days ago, was I was playing with a Twitter party, and we were playing a war game, you know, and. We were be destroying him, even with the hacker. You know, the hacker was sitting there going flawless, doing what he had to do, feeling like he was a beast. So, you know, our team's over there winning. That's what we do. We feel like beasts. And he goes and stands on the flags. Oh, uh, game's over. He wins. Must be nice. But yeah, just stay right there and just play TDM. That's all you really need to do. And apparently, Sandy Ravage has come back. For those who don't know, Sandy Ravage has been on a hiatus. He is uh, currently working hard in his schooling. He's going to come back for this commentator showdown. What do I think about this? Do I, do I personally think he's going to win? Personally, I don't think he's going to win. But do I think he's going to do well in it? Yes. Um, the reason I don't think he's going to win, one... He's been he's been using a pencil for the last three months instead of an Xbox 360 controller. And two, Call of Duty is a game that you have to constantly be playing to stay up to par at, to stay very well at, to stay, you know, pristine at. If you get off Call of Duty for even a week, your shot isn't as good as it used to be. If you get off Call of Duty for months, it's like you had to. It's like you're a baby, a baby deer being born. You have to relearn almost everything to do with the muscle memory. Because one thing your body has is muscle memory, and that's how you do well in the games. Um, all this quote-unquote skill is actually something your body does naturally, and people's body do it differently. That's why some people are good at FPS, some aren't. You ever seen the game um, or the TV show, um, Pure Opponent? Jeremy is supposed to be the best gamer in the world. Well, he's not good at FPS. It's because he sucks at muscle memory. But FPS Doug... A guy that has hardly any kind of, you know, talent or tactical ability. He's good at it because his body's good at muscle memory. You know, guys who play, things to help your muscle memory out is things like baseball, playing catch outside, playing football, or, or just Call of Duty over and over and over and over again. And you want to try to play on the same size TV every time as well. Um, the size of your TV does matter because they have what you call drag patterns on them. What is a drag pattern? A drag pattern is from the point that you have to move your controller with your body to a certain section of the screen. If you're on a 27-inch TV, it's obviously there's going to be a shorter distance you have to move the stick versus what you actually see visually than when you're on a 60-inch screen. 
and, it, and your body learns those muscle patterns and then you learn different parts of the map and how much to move that stick and the more you do it over and over and over again your body does it subliminally and you actually aim at that be sure to like the video it, or dislike it whatever and if you would guys like to see more of my stuff here is a upcoming here's a clip of a video I just put out this is Wonderlust 3 this is a little small insert from it peace there we go oh ho, ho. get shit on ho Ooh -wee. Ooh -wee. hold up hold up oh Oh, 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 gotta get that Fallout tea bag on. Alright, pair up the.